Welcome back to NBA Wild TV, and we're going to talk about why these certain NBA players hated each other. The NBA is one of the most competitive leagues in the world, and this intense competition among teams and players brings out straight-up rivalries, and sometimes players begin to hate each other. We'll look at some NBA players who truly hated each other. Gilbert Arenas and Javaris Crittenton Gilbert Arenas and Javaris Crittenton made NBA history for all the wrong reasons. These guys allowed their hatred for one another, coupled with their big egos, to cause them to play out a scene from a Hollywood action movie in a basketball locker room. Crittenton had told Gilbert Arenas that he would shoot him. Instead of reporting this to the police, Arenas took four guns to the locker room and dared Crittenton to choose one of them to shoot him. Yes, this actually happened in an NBA locker room. But the situation gets worse. Crittenton didn't need any of Arenas' guns. He had one of his own. He pointed his gun at Arenas and thankfully, good sense prevailed and no shots were fired. This is one of the most brazen physical displays of hatred between two NBA players in the league's history. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for the regular updates on our best NBA videos. Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas the tumultuous relationship between these two great players is well documented. It's said that this feud started back in 1985 at the All-Star Game, where it's alleged that Isaiah Thomas conspired to freeze Jordan out of the game. Jordan was a rookie at the time and scored only seven points during the game. Thomas has consistently denied this allegation, but it was clear from the game that all was not well between young Jordan and the more experienced Thomas. The hatred between the two players took on a new level by the time the 1988 Eastern Conference Finals came about between the Bulls and the Pistons. By then, Jordan was clearly the best player in the league, and the Pistons, led by Thomas, decided to do whatever it took physically to stop Jordan and the Bulls. The Pistons continued to get the better of the Bulls until the 1990-1991 season, when a more experienced Bulls team swept the Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals. What followed was a sensational walk-off by the Pistons team without even acknowledging the Bulls' victory. This further infuriated Jordan, who blamed Thomas for orchestrating the unfortunate incident. The hatred between the two players is probably the worst in NBA history and lives on until today. Rajon Rondo and Ray Allen Rajon Rondo joined the Celtics team in 2006 and helped them win the NBA championship in 2008. He played alongside the mighty big three of Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Kevin Garnett. Initially, Ray Allen had taken Rondo under his wings and intended to groom him into a great player. However, Rondo developed into a starter and started to speak up in team meetings. He got on the wrong side of Allen. Allen thought that he wanted to be a leader on the team and had not yet earned that status. On the other hand, my man Rondo believed that Allen was a negative influence on the group. This animosity eventually resulted in Allen moving on to the Miami Heat to the disappointment of everyone in the Celtics organization. The two today still don't get along, but we hope this will change in the future. Steve Nash and Jason Richardson The Steve Nash-Jason Richardson situation would fit perfectly in an episode of a reality show. The circumstances that led to Nash hating Richardson is that Richardson got his wife of five years, Alejandra Nash, pregnant. This was truly a dramatic situation and was made even worse when Nash filed for divorce immediately after the baby was born, when Nash found out that the baby wasn't his. Jason Richardson was promptly traded from the Suns and Nash has not said much about the situation ever since. What we do know is that Steve Nash and Jason Richardson will never be friends again, that's for sure. Kevin Garnett and Charlie Villanueva KG is well known for his not-so-appropriate banter on opposing players, gaining him a reputation as a pest and troublemaker. He crossed the line when he allegedly called the former Detroit Pistons forward Charlie Villanueva a cancer patient. Villanueva suffers from the medical condition alopecia. One of the effects of this condition is the inability to grow hair. KG later clarified his statement, stating that what he said was that Villanova was cancerous to the team and the league. There was no love lost between these two stars, and Villanueva offered to fight Garnett in a boxing match. Garnett has never accepted the offer, but these two guys, they still ain't friends today. Zach Randolph and Kendrick Perkins Zach Randolph and Kendrick Perkins are certainly not best friends. 
They had constant battles on the basketball court, where Perk always guarded Randolph when the Oklahoma City Thunder played against the Memphis Grizzlies. The confrontations between the two reached a boiling point during a game on November 12, 2012, when they had a physical altercation and were thrown out of the game. Zach Randolph decided to continue the feud after the game, stating that he is good with his hands and he was fined a hefty $25,000 by the NBA. Despite this fine, the saga between the two players continued, and even up to today, they have not reconciled their differences. This is what we call genuine hatred. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for the regular updates on our best NBA videos.